Welcome to our tutorial about the line command. We've already looked at the line tool briefly a couple times in previous lessons in this course. Let's go down to the status bar. I want to switch all the active modes off except for grid display. When a mode is active, the icon is blue, and when it's inactive, the icon is gray. Here's grid display. I'll leave that active. Now let's activate the line tool up on the ribbon with a left click. Take a look at the command line right above the status bar. AutoCAD asks us to specify the first point of the line. For this example, let's enter the coordinates manually 10, 10, or 10 units in the positive x and y directions, respectively. Press Enter to accept, and here is our first point. Now, as I mouse around that first point, I see the rubber band effect giving me a preview of my line at the cursor's position. Let's enter the Cartesian coordinates for the second point also, 20, 10. Press Enter. Obviously, the first number we entered is the distance along the x-axis. Let's create a rectangle using the line tool. I'm going to enter my next coordinates, 20, 5. So that's 20 units in the positive x direction and 5 units in the positive y direction. Next coordinates, 10, 5, and press Enter. Now I'm going to right-click and select Recent Input. My first point appears at the bottom of the list. I'm going to select that to close this profile. And now we can right-click and enter to close the Line tool, or we can press Escape to exit the tool as well. Let's activate the Line tool again by right-clicking and selecting Repeat Line. Now I'm going to drop a few lines here. Once again, the command line prompts me for the coordinates of the next point. If I press C at this point, I would create a closed profile. If I press U, I'll undo the last segment. Let's right-click and select Undo, and the last segment disappears. We'll continue to undo. And now let's select Close. The command line has recorded these actions, U displays for Undo and C for Close. Even though the geometry in my drawing area looks like a closed profile, these lines are actually separate entities. I can grab each line and drag it to move them individually. And let's undo. Let's use the command line to activate the line tool. We can type the word line and then press enter. Now I'll select an arbitrary point in the drawing area with a left click. Then I'll type 10 in the command line and press Enter. And AutoCAD creates a line in the direction where I move the mouse. This method is called Direct Entry. Let's type 5 in the command line and press Enter. Now let's type 4, press Enter again. To exit the Line tool, just press Escape on the keyboard. OK, let's activate the Line tool again. If I want to start with the point I just finished, what I can do is right-click and we create our first point. Now let's right-click and select Recent Input. I'll scroll down to 10, 10. And here's my second point. Once again, right-click, Recent Input. Let's scroll down to 20, 5. And hit Escape to exit the tool. Let's select this line with a left click and press delete on the keyboard. And this concludes our lesson about using the line tool.